up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. Yesterday, I dropped a banger for y'all, man. Letting y'all see, man, the first looks of the Air Jordan 11 Legend Blue Columbia's dropping holiday 2024 Army. And holiday time is looking nice, y'all. I'm talking about nice from the Black Tory Imagine to the Olive Nines to the Retro 11 Columbia's to the Blueberry 12's like granted I talk about them as far as the name man they just some red you know they just the, the cherries but they blue they still gonna move bro then you got the Jordan 14 Black Toe so we got a nice holiday line of army and i'm excited but you know in order to get to the holiday time man we got to get through some of the releases during the summer and as always summertime is slow for jordan brand but like i said in my video yesterday army we're gonna try to make it as fun as possible I also hit y'all with the early review on the air jordan 4 white thunder so make sure y'all go ahead and check those out back to school time it's going to be over with for those, man. I can see those moving like August, September. We're going to see that shoe more than any other shoe on feet, bro. I guarantee. It's basically the Panda of Air Jordan 4s, man. Like, these going to do what it do. Y'all just going to have to wait and see what time it is. But let's go ahead and see what time it is with these Air Jordan 13s right here now. These are scheduled to drop on June 25th. Shout out to Big Bro Fine Line 1721 for supplying the shoes for today's video, Army. And as you guys can see, we got the standard Air Jordan 13 box. Nothing special with these right here. Retail is probably going to be 200 Like, again, what is retail for regular GRs? We know Retro 4s is 215 We know Retro 11 OG Highs is 230 we know retro 11 lows is what, like 199 God, dog. But what is just a regular, like, what makes a retro 200 and what makes a retro 210? Because I know it's, we've been seeing 210 and we've been seeing 200, y'all. I just can't keep up with it. And that's a good reason why they took that suggested retail price off because, like, uh, I feel like I'm about to get on a uh, soapbox army, but we can't even tell what shoe costs what. And it's like, we can't we can complain about it but like it one week is a two hundred dollar shoe the next week is a two hundred twenty five dollar shoe then a collabs is two fifty then i can't keep up y'all let me know how y'all been keeping up with these prices maybe y'all been keeping up with the prices by not buying them <laughs> maybe that's what it is we got our standard paper up in here and i didn't even read the label y'all label on these joints is dune red dune red terra blush this is a size 12. And Army, pairs are available in Chicago. Pairs available in Chicago. Now, Pete. Pete, hear me out, Army. Y'all got to hear me out for this one, man. Because I just... I, I got a feeling that these is going to get talked about. Ain't nobody going to like them. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of people calling shoe poor man this, poor man that. Because when you call a shoe a poor man something, it makes it feel like you're getting less of something else. Now, don't get me wrong. We already know that these joints is, I don't want to say identical, but you can tell that these have a lot of similarities from the Air Jordan 13 Ben. We're at a Ben 13s right now, Army. And again, you can tell the similarities, but they not Ben's though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing will compare to these. And I feel like it's a great thing that Jordan Brand is not even... I don't even think the Ben series is even on Jordan Brand's radar as far as sneakers to drop again. But, I mean, Army, you can see the similarities, bro. Like, this Dune Red right here kind of giving me the red that we had on the Air Jordan 13 Red Flints. Like, that's what I see more in this shoe than anything. You got your Terra Blush right here on the side of the shoe, the side panel army, but just overall, it's crazy because I got the bends right here and I got the right shoe and I almost grabbed the bends. <laughs> I think they are similar army, but they not it. Okay, but again, what you call a, a Air Jordan or any sneaker or poor man something, it, it, it makes it seem like the shoe ain't worth it or it kind of degrades the shoe and like, 
I mean, y'all can do it if y'all want, but would you go ahead and spend that 15 or two bands on a dead stock pair of Ben 13s and probably half of the sneaker community don't even know what these are. Again, we in that time where, oh, and that's not even an OG, it's just a classic. Like these shoes are not appreciated anymore. So why spend two bands on those when you can get these? Real talk, Army. And they're going to be easily available for you guys to grab. Now, I do have pairs available for you guys right now shipping out. So if you guys do need pairs, let me know. Also, Army, I do got the Whatnot coming up next week, too. So make sure y'all click the link and bookmark the next Whatnot live stream, Army, because it will be going down. But back to these, Army, man, I just feel like if we was not in this, what whatever stage of sneakers we in right now, the economy, I feel like these were moved, bro. Like, if this was a 2010 2011, 2012, hey, I say all the way up to maybe like 2017 on a pair of retro 13s, these will move. And I like the colorway, summer vibes, Army. Honestly, more like a summer, fall type shoe. Like, they could have waited to give us these around like August, September, and these probably would have did better than being in the summer. But the colorway is not bad. You got the dual red, you got the terror blush on these joints. Outsole right here. More hits of that dome red and that terror blush down here. Of course, you got your signature hologram, that Panther Alpha, the Air Jordan 13s. You got your Jordan right here in that dome red. Dune red jump man on the tongue as well. Army clean. Clean. I just feel like we mad picky right now. Call these a Monier. It's like if it's not a collab, then people just like roll their eyes at them now. And that's just so crazy now, bro. Like Regular Air Jordans is just whatever. You know what I'm saying? But like, make this a collab. Take this Jumpman over here and put the I'm on my year logo. And then, oh my God, we drooling. I probably wouldn't even go this deep into the sneaker, man. But I even like the color contrast on these joints. It's like that light brown and this red is a nice complement of each other, man. And it's almost to the point, Army, I would probably pick these over the Air Jordan 13 Red Flints. Like, the Red Flints was... Man, those were not necessary at all. Like, y'all gave us an OG Flints 13s, and y'all could have just let that be. But then y'all gave us some Red Flints. Certain Air Jordans, I feel like, is past its time. You know what I'm saying? Like, these is past its prime. Like, this shoe, like I said, Army, a decade ago, we'd be having a different conversation. But just like right now, and I also feel like it's gotten to the point where a decade ago, Army, it was a lot of colorways that we have already got within the last 10 years that 10 years ago we were wishing we got so is it to the point now where we literally got every colorway that we can dream of every color scheme that we can think of every color pattern that you could think of like what more can jordan brand do now that's gonna have us excited because again once you go to call us a poor man something or want to be something that means we've already seen it before and what we've seen in the past is better you know what I'm saying? It's not too many shoes that have dropped. Like, let's say, for instance, Army, the Air Jordan 4 Paris. Like, I like those joints. The gray joints. Had we never had an Air Jordan 4 calls, we wouldn't be calling these poor man calls. It would just be, hey, man, these look nice. You know what I'm saying? But it's like if the newer shoe don't live up to the older shoe or something that's similar to it, then don't nobody want it. You know what I'm saying? So maybe Jordan Brand just need to continue to just step outside the box arm and continue to give us things that we have yet to see. Because back then, people used to say, why y'all buy the same shoes every year? Y'all buy the same shoes, different color every year. And we'd be like, so what? Like, we gonna keep doing it. But now it's just like, bro, like, I feel what y'all was saying now because it's just like, what more can Jordan Brand do to excite us with these sneakers and these colorways, Army? But needless to say, I do think that this is probably going to be the sleeper for the month of June. And all the other joints that's dropping as far as just like general releases, I feel like this is probably the best Air Jordan as far as the colorway. And the silhouette that we get it, man. Like 13s used to be top three Air Jordans, bro. Top five, you know, minimum. Retro 13s just don't got this pizzazz that they used to for a lot of people, man. But I've always been a fan of Retro 13s. They might not have been my favorite, but I've always been a fan of the Air Jordan 13. So, I mean, we're going to go ahead and jump in front of the turntable, 
get these joints an up close personal look at the Air Jordan 13 doing red, and then we can jump back in front of the camera to end the video off. All right, Army, got the box on the turntable. We got our red Jumpman right here. Classic Jordan 13 box. Check out the label. Label reads Air Jordan 13 Retro. Colorway is Dune Red, Dune Red, Terra Blush. Since it's size 12 and men. Release date is June 25th. Joints do come with the regular Retro 13 paper inside the box. Smacking the joints on the turntable, Army. And again, like I told y'all, bro, this is not bad, man. I promise you these not bad as far as the colorway. Like, mugs just not going to rock with them because they're going to call them a poor man, Ben 13s, but take that away from it, Army. Like, it's not like I, it's not trash. Like, I feel like I can name about 15 Air Jordan 13s that's worse than these, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, to me, different colorway, similar, but it's something that we ain't seen in a very, very long time on a pair of Retro 13s. I, I say as far as just like the combo of like the red and like the brown. Now, again, this red right here, it just reminds me of the red that we had on the Air Jordan 13 red flinch. Now, different reds, of course, but still similar with the red mesh upper. Leather on these basic Air Jordan 13s army. Nothing special, nothing crazy right there. We got our Jordan right there, right above the toe box. Check out the outsole. We got a carbon fiber plate. We got our Panther Eye, our Jumpman hologram right there. And our hits of that doing red and terror blush on these joints as well. White laces, classic Jordan. 13 hologram right there, Army. 13s just used to be that shoe, bro. You see that hologram on somebody's foot, bro, like you already knew what time it was, man. Just a, a special shoe, and I hope that the legacy of the Air Jordan 13 does some way, somehow come back, man, because, again, man, a decade ago, 15 years ago, Retro 13s was that shoe army, but of course they gonna get baptized with the rejuvenator water and stain repellent. You do got like this soft plush material on the side army, and this material right here is definitely hard to clean once you get it dirty. So make sure you spray it with the rejuvenator water and stain repellent. Let the shoe sit for 10 to 15 minutes army after spraying it with the rejuvenated water and stain repellent. That way it can protect and coat the entire sneaker. I will also grab like some rejuvenator sneaker cleaner wipes army just in case you want to make sure the white on the toe box, the white on the tongue remains clean. And even spray the water and stain repellent on the tongue, Army, because like let's say you're wearing some blue jeans or some black jeans and you didn't pre-wash them and you don't want to get the dye to bleed on the white on the sneakers, Army. The rejuvenated water and stain repellent does protect it from that as well. And you get the 10% off with the rejuvenated link in the description section below, Army. So of course, I'm going to say y'all some bread, man. So y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about these these joints right here bro let's see how these joints look with the flash on there we go army we got the flash on the joints right there man so y'all let me know army y'all rocking with the air jordan 13 doing reds or y'all gonna let people call them poor man bins and y'all ain't gonna touch them again i think that these may be the sleeper of the month of june i can't say instant seller army it's hard to predict what these shoes gonna do unless i'm looking on the arby app but Needless to say, man, I'm not mad at the colorway on these joints, Army. Let me know if this is a cop or a pass for you in the comment section below. I'm going to go ahead and get these joints one more quick 360. Then we can jump back in front of the camera to end the video off. All right, Army, now that we have seen the Air Jordan 13 doing red, how do you feel about these? Are these a cop for you? Again, I do got pairs early, Army, if you do not want to wait to the 25th joints are shipping out three weeks early so hit your boy up asap if you guys do want to get a pair of these man and again let me know how y'all feel about them colorway to me is nice bro this is a nice pair of air jordan 13 is it necessary i would say no because again like if i feel like it's a shoe that's in my collection that is similar to it then nah it's not a necessity for me you know what I'm saying? But I only can speak for me, Army. But like if I did not have the bands, will I still grab these? That's the question. Where I'm at right now, Army, I'm really at the point where I'm OGs, my collabs, and just something different. Something different. Not something similar to what I got. Something different than what I got. Even looking at the Air Jordan 6 Cigar Champagnes, Army, 
Like the color blocking is somewhat similar. Like I'm looking at them joints right now. It's somewhat similar, not spot on. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me grab it. Remember, I do got red green deficiency, okay? So my colors do kind of be off sometimes, but I'm just like, these, all these is kind of similar with the browns, the orange, the red, you know what I'm saying? Like, these are all kind of similar in a sense. Like, they they not exactly close, but you can be like, hey right, man, like, I can freak these out. I can freak, you know what I'm saying? I can freak all of these out at me, be, bro. So, I just feel like maybe it's the color ways that Jordan brand is. I, I just feel like something different needs to happen. And hopefully it happens very, very soon, Army. But again, let me know how y'all feel about the Air Jordan 13 Dune Reds. Again, scheduled to drop June 25th, Army. Let your boy know if you want these early. Again, I do got the whatnot coming up. I got Soul Premise link in the description section below, Army. I got Rejuvenator down there in the description section. Whatever y'all need to say, some bread, Army. I'm trying my hardest to help. And none of that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable vote. Unbreakable Army stands strong. Like always, most importantly, hug your loved ones. And of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the Yeezys. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get him easy. He was old, him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.